Hey. How's it going guys? What's up Victor? What's up guys? What's up guys? All good, all good, all good. So now I'm gonna work a little bit more on this dude, this creature. Um, you know by by how I'm like structuring this, it's just going like very free flow and uh, what I was saying the other day not very conventional so just kind of trying to exercise different muscles I guess
Sergi Fier is what he's studying. Uh, so, yeah, I went to college in 2006. It's been a while. Uh, and I have a bachelor in film, so I went to film school uh, back in Brazil many, many years ago. I, I never went to art school or uh, I don't have a academic training or formal. I was not academic trained, I guess. That's the proper way of saying this. Uh, but I took many, many courses and I, I'm still taking them. So I guess that counts. Mateus is asking if I'm using reference. So I do have a, a, a board here on a, on a different monitor, but it's, I mean, there's a bunch of creatures and sculptures and, you know, like just inspirational stuff, uh, but there's nothing really similar to what I'm, what I'm doing. These are uh, just some, like more like mood and yeah, like I said, inspirational rather than just kind of focus reference to kind of support what I'm doing. Um, I like when I'm like doing things like this, just kind of purely designing or sketching without any, you know, like pressure of like delivering. I just like to kind of go freely out of imagination and, you know, like mixing up things that I've seen and I felt and, and then if I decide to kind of really finish this and take this to a finish level I will definitely use reference and uh, I don't have a really good photographic memory I think so but in this stage here I want to feel free if you know what I mean so um, so I do have an idea in mind of the kind of attitude I want to convey with this character now that I kind of spent a few more hours just thinking about what I'm doing, but not necessarily, I'm not really focused right now on, uh, you know, like getting proper anatomy or that, that, that's not the goal right now. Yeah, but uh, keep the questions coming. I think. Uh, just don't ask about the meaning of life and <laughs> you know those sort of uh, very philosophical stuff but other than that just just feel free to kind of throw in some questions and I will try to answer them as much as I can body and uh, 
just to kind of get a gesture going for the whole piece. Sorry, but I, I can't really talk about work. My things are going well. All right. Which do you think is more important, primary shape or secondary shape? Well, that's a really easy one. Primary shapes, they, they inform the gesture, they inform the proportion. Literally, they inform everything. Secondary shapes are subordinate to primary forms, so think that they only exist because of the primary forms. They are basically, in a nutshell, primary forms broken down into smaller, smaller ones. What's up, Cassio? You have any tips for texturing studies or any course that you know that it's a good that it's good in this field? So. So the way I learned how to texture, I learned painting with airbrush. So I, I usually in you know like acrylics and kind of painting sculptures. That was my uh, that, that that was the thing that really built a really good foundation for me. So when I got into you know like painting textures in Photoshop and later Substance Painter, Mari and and those those softwares, I already had a kind of an understanding of what I wanted to do and then you start laying down photos and like flat colors and using brushes and, and all of that but basically it all boils down to knowing what you want to do how, how, how you want to build up those those details and the forms and um, you know like the patches of colors so I always recommend uh, checking out some traditional uh, painting courses and I know Stan Winston School has some really cool ones um, and, and then the main reason for that is because I think I think it builds a slightly different repertoire of painting skills you, you kind of develop like slightly different painting techniques than most digital artists don't really use I would say uh, but I'm pretty sure there are like amazing substance painter uh, tutorials. I know Magdalena Dalala, if you go, if you guys know her, I believe she did, she did a really nice uh, painting workshop. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's on YouTube. You guys should check it out. She she is awesome. Uh, you know, there's a bunch of like other courses like Justin Holt texturing uh, on over No Moon uh, workshop. Um, and I'm pretty sure I'm forgetting many, many more, but uh, yeah, it's, it's been a while since I took a, a 3D asset painting class, if you will. I'm primarily studying uh, like oil painting and, and that kind of stuff, and it, it all translates to, to what I do uh, here in 
uh, in-game art and 3D and whatnot. What's up, Caio? Good to see you, brother. Hey, what's up, Gabriel? What's up, Samuel? Hey, thanks, Gabriel. Yeah, I'm just trying to kind of explore some of these forms here. Uh, don't really like these arms. I think they are kind of boring, honestly. So I'm going to change them up. Hey, what's up, Gustavo? Asian, I'm using a, a Wacom Intus Pro, uh, the medium size. Alright, let's just kind of change these arms because they're not really working, I would say. So one thing that I learned throughout the years is I'm, I'm, I'm very anxious, right? So I used to to model like this, you know, like clicking, 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 and not because I wanted to, to be fast, but because I wanted to see results fast. And uh, since I started to uh, slow down, like systematically, like really, really putting effort into kind of slowing down and think about what I'm doing. And, uh, my work evolved a lot. And, and, and I, I would mainly attribute that for the thinking aspect of slowing down. Meaning when, when, you, when you stop and you do things kind of slowly, you kind of Think about what you're doing, rather than uh, rather than doing things and reacting. You are proactively uh, doing before, or like thinking about doing. So, of course, we all react. So I tried something here, didn't work. Right? That's kind of not what I'm saying. I'm saying. I don't know what I'm doing, so I keep doing this, and then I'm like, oh, this is wrong, this is wrong, it's wrong, until it looks right. So I'm like, what is the right form? What is the right uh, thing? And just, just give it a shot, so. I guess this is getting philosophical again. Man, I can't, 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 can't control myself. I got too much into the whole uh, mind thing. <laughs> What's up, Andrea? Uh, that's funny. What's up, Brawler? Brawler. Well, maybe I should just relax these arms. What if I just rotate the hand?
ever been depressed for a long period of time. Um, no, I've been depressed for a short period of time, but not a long period of time. Uh, I also had an anxiety attacks when I was like 20, like 15 years ago. Um, but no. What's up, Anthony? What's up, everybody? What's up, King's Letter? How do you score the sideshow gig? <laughs> well, you guys just gonna gotta keep pushing and show some really outstanding work. They only hire, you know, they only do awesome stuff, so just gotta keep pushing. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Just kinda having some fun here. It's been a while since I've done uh, something like this kind of out of the blue so uh, it's good it's interesting interesting to explore ideas and shapes let it kind of evolve not having to commit to something and, you know Can increase the volume a little bit the microphone maybe it's better now is it better right Cassio. Uh, yeah that's definitely a really good start all right so music soldier what has happened to vr sculpting will you use it do you think it's too fancy or not necessary so I talked a little bit about that the other day, and I, I truly think it's the future. Uh, I had a blast, but it's, it's been a couple months since I've done something on it. But honestly, it's been a couple months since I've done uh, uh, any personal work as well, like this. And I, I was actually thinking about uh, doing this one in VR too. But um, I don't know, it just felt a little bit more convenient to be in ZBrush for the streaming purposes and, and whatnot. But so I truly think it's it's the future. I think we still have a uh, I wouldn't say a long way, but we still have some work to to be done in order for that to become to kind of replace or um, maybe the replace is not the correct uh, way of looking at it, but. Let's just say that for me to incorporate that into my daily work, I think it's still missing a couple of functionalities and features. And, um, but but mainly for the, the type of work that I do. But I, I, I really think it's the future because it, it's just a very, very different way of feeling the forms. And not only seeing the form, but also feeling what you're doing, you can feel, you can sense the scale, you can sense the, you know, the proportions and all of that. So uh, I think we're gonna get there. It's just a matter of uh, of having these really awesome companies kind of pushing and driving technology, let them do their thing, and we're gonna get there in no time. Uh, 
Okay, this is has some interesting stuff going on here and there. I really want to work on the face, but uh, it's kind of you know saving the last bite. Kind of saving that for later, the best part for later. So, let's see. Why I, st why I still have a little bit of energy, maybe I can just kind of keep pushing some of these things around. Let's see. We can do this guy here. Yeah, I use. Uh, I mean, it's not Oculus Medium anymore, it's uh, Medium by Adobe, but yeah, that one. Never really tried any of the other ones though. Uh, I have a few that I wanted to try, but I got into the Medium one, and I have a couple friends that were already using it, so they gave me some tips, pointers, and stuff, so it was kind of the easiest one for me to pick up just fell in love with it right no chipping away suggesting forms not really committing to anything yet it's kind of using some of these bro strokes to kind of indicate some stuff and I'll come back to those later uh, when I'm ready to commit but right now I'm still kind of in the design phase so I'm mainly exploring um, yeah so legs I don't care too much so this is uh, I don't care too much right now, but I do care about the feet because they are the extremities. So I don't. I definitely want to kind of capture the gesture of the hands a little bit more, and also the feet to really kind of lock this piece together. So working on the feet, hands, and extremities, right? Like corner of the shoulders and and the head. You can really gauge and feel the whole the whole uh, the the sculpture as a whole. So, just kind of put a little bit of work on the feet, and to do that we can just isolate. Let's just get these planes here at the bottom. Uh, and the way I like to block out the feet is just to kind of look it from above, from, yeah, from above, and really work on the, on the big forms first. So there's the big toe here, and then we can find the remaining toes in here. Use this landmark here to kind of help us drive. I like combining the fingers the hand and also the toes uh, I think it's really good you see people like Bernini and all of those great old masters kind of doing stuff like that it really helps to uh, really helps with the gesture really helps to uh, let you find the proportions quickly
see some movement in the chat. Uh, I'll be in the chat in a little bit. Just want to kind of block some of these things out because they are kind of mentally uh, consuming. If you will, I, what I mean by that is that I need to think a little bit more about what I'm doing, especially like finding these flames here. But I'll be in the chat in a little bit. To me, this this is just really about finding the personality and the rhythm on some of these. You, you just on the way to this 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 the feet uh, is shaped. Uh, you can kind of convey a big message, right? So you can kind of. Feel the character just on the feet. It's kind of why I like doing this. Let's see. Do you 3D print your models? I've 3D printed 3D printed uh, a lot of stuff in the past, but I don't I don't own a 3D printer anymore. But uh, I bought a farm too. I had an Ender. Um, I had maybe like two or three 3D printers uh, at some point. I was printing a lot of stuff, but I just kind of sold the printers, I, I literally stopped doing it, maybe I'll get back to it eventually. My goal is to work in the games industry as a character artist, but I have a below average PC that limits a lot of my studies, despite that I try to get as much. So yeah, I, I know what you mean, the, I don't think it's a huge problem to be honest. Um, most of my portfolio pieces, I mean the like eight year old ones, they were done on a pretty pretty below what we call average PC nowadays. And and in, and in fact, until three years ago, I never had a a really good PC at home. I always had a Best Buy cheap computer, uh, which I understand it's not like the worst computer ever, but it was like a six hundred dollars computer. But uh, you know. A couple years ago, I decided to kind of invest, and now I have a um, like a two twenty five hundred dollar PC. So if, if, even my computer right now, it's not it's nothing crazy. It's pretty average, I would say. It's not nothing. Um, it, it's it's nothing crazy right now. Like my work PC is like much better than my home PC and stuff. Um, I would say like you can do any 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 type of studies uh, sculpting studies in ZBrush I think on mostly PCs most PCs would handle ZBrush I remember having a notebook uh, this is about like 2008 and at that time my my ZBrush uh, on the notebook I was only able to get around like 200,000 polygons or something like that so all of my models were like pretty 
low res, but at that time I was just cranking a lot of uh, quick sketches and painting those in Photoshop. Uh, I was also doing uh, very anatomical studies, which you don't need a lot of resolution. You're just trying to capture like the essence. Uh, I also did a bunch of uh, gesture studies, you know. Uh, so there, there is so much you can do uh, on a, on a, that, that doesn't really require a high-end PC. So I like to say just kind of work with what you have. Instead of thinking about what you don't have, just make the best of what's available to you. And, and I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to afford a, a better computer uh, in the future. Uh, I try playing with Blender a couple times. I, I I gave it a shot maybe like five, six different times. I was still not convinced. Uh, I mean, not convinced. I was still not uh, excited enough. I think. I think. I think I need someone that really knows how to up, like rotate the viewport and you know like model in Blender. Uh, I've, I've done some renders in Blender that, that was pretty kind of easy and very straightforward but I was never able to really kind of model and get my hand of you know like get the hang of it. I also never really tried hard to be honest so I open it. Oh that's awesome that's cool but I don't even know how to select the meshes and you know like select the polygons and all that kind of stuff so instead of looking it up I was just like yeah whatever and then I went to Maya. Uh, so I think I think it's awesome for the community actually uh, that we have stuff like that happening. So uh, yeah, one day, one day maybe when I whenever I, I get to work with uh, someone really good in Blender, maybe they can spend some time kind of helping me and showing me the way, or maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have any rushes on learning it either. If I had it, I would probably just spend a couple. I know there's a bunch of videos on YouTube and stuff. So I think if you want to learn it, if I really wanted to learn it, I would probably be just learning as everybody else did. So, uh, all right, so someone, uh, so uh, why am I using a, base plane is basically just to get the, the contact points for the feet and to feel that the character is grounded no pun intended it's just uh, to be able to you know feel like he is standing somewhere instead of having the feet flo floating
feel like the legs could be longer actually. I go to the head I'm really <laughs> really holding myself to just kind of work on the head and the torso which is that usually what I like doing the most uh, but I'm actually having fun today with, uh, with some of these forms I'm not gonna be doing this it's not gonna be a really long stream to tonight so Maybe I should just jump on the head just to kind of have some fun a little bit before calling a night. All right, let's see. Uh, hey, 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 what's up, what's up? So any plans on make everything I know back in stock again? So. I've been thinking about that. Uh, I'll let you guys know what I decide, but I haven't made myself made a decision on that yet. Although I do have other other sessions planned, uh, I will release them soon. Uh, I think, all right, I think I'm I'm ready to go to the head. A little bit of popcorn. Hey, what's up, Larry? Um, how often do I stream? Actually, I don't have any any schedules. Uh, to be very honest, I think this week I felt like streaming, so I started this character. But uh, I don't know. I my my work schedule is it's very busy family and stuff so I don't I can't really commit so I do this on a I kind of play by ear so it felt like a really good day for me to do it again today I felt inspired or and I had a little bit of extra time tonight not working on anything uh, specifically or you know so I was like all right let me just stream again and I post it on Instagram that's usually how I do I post on Instagram right before coming but I, I know this is not the most effective way of streaming and you guys want to know when things will happen and whatnot but it's, it's just very hard for me to commit so uh, just to give an example I don't think I'm gonna be streaming in the next week or so um, just because I know how work and family stuff is gonna be like in the next couple weeks or at least in the next week so there's no way for me I won't have time to do this so you know all right 
think I'm kind of kind of pleased with some of it. I don't love it, but I don't hate it, so I think it's it's okay. I do want to love the face though, so. questions, eat the remaining of this little popcorn, and then we're gonna get to the head, which is, yes, yummy. All right, do you still prefer sculpting micro texture like skin wrinkles over using alphas or mix it up? Do employers prefer a faster product over a quality one where you take that time on small detail? So the kind of work that I do professionally uh, of course, time is important, but it's usually we usually strive for quality. So uh, I never ran into the issue of spending uh, a little bit more time to get a higher end quality asset done. It was a problem, so I never faced what you were describing. I also don't think it's that much faster if you are doing like a high-end creature, a high-end model. Plus, I, I do believe that you need to do both. You need to lay down alphas and also scope things by hand. I think that's the only way, honestly, to get the very realistic results. Uh, scope as much as possible, rely less on textures, but you still need to use textures to get a, a very high quality model. Even if you make the textures yourself, uh, uh, I just think the using the textures gives you uh, things that it's very hard to to do by hand. Um, uh, detail richness and, and that kind of thing. So, um, right on, Larry. Yeah, appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thanks everybody. All right, so let's just get down. Thank you. 
Ahí no aparece. Really got into the mood here, guys. <laughs> My bad, but uh, let's see. All right, take it easy, man. How do you think the industry will be after the pandemic? Well, I think we are already seeing all of the changes, right? Like a lot of uh, work from home, remote. We ended up understanding what that means and kind of adapting. So I think that's gonna stay. Maybe not as much as we think, but we, we realize that there's a lot that can be done uh, from working from home.
I'm gonna start refining some of these a little bit more. So I think I'm gonna just get a zero mesh going. What's up, Bona? What's up, Oscar? What's up, Diego? What's up, Jaime? What's up, everybody? So now we have a cleaner topology to work from. And, uh, much easier to clean up some of these forms. So fun. I'm really on this quest of finding unusual uh, forms and designs and trying to kind of break away from what common sense is. And it's a really conscious effort on Damn, there's a hole here. Really a conscious effort on trying to do different things. Uh, different than what I've done myself in the past. Different from what most people are doing nowadays. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think... Regardless of the output of the result, I think it's a really good exercise because... So for example, I've done... I kind of know things that would work well and would look cool, if you will. And I'm trying to avoid them, so basically trying to find other things that also look cool. And that that will help me increase my repertoire and, and also learn and not just kind of repeat myself. So some of these eye shapes are coming from drawings that I've done.
that I'm that I kind of remember. Also. I think I've done the, the angry eyebrow so many times in my life. Uh, you know, the classical monster eyebrow. So, definitely wanted to try something slightly different. Something that I always, always think about is emotions and generating feelings out of these models and regardless of what you're what you're working on it can be a creature it can be a face it can be a static uh, mesh or whatever always trying to evoke some feeling Now really trying to find some personality. Also, something we talked uh, the other day was trying to find the rhythm and also opportunities for making things a little bit in more interesting. Um, and by that I mean, you know, trying to create a story or find shapes that can be compressed, stretch, and uh, find teams that you can kind of play with. Or even used to justify get back to the chat in a little bit. Just wanna
I'll get back to the chat in a little bit, I promise. <laughs> just to... Uh, it's just flowing, so I'm just kind of letting it flow. Some interesting stuff happening. Oh, there's not much. Said, really trying to find unusual uh, forms and make unusual decisions, at least unusual for me. Mm. So some of these things are not comfortable. I mean, I think most of most of most of what I'm doing here doesn't feel comfortable, but mainly because I'm doing unusual standard decisions really pushing myself trying to kind of break myself away from things that I've that I know would work kind of challenging myself too in a way cleaning up some of these forms and making sure they are and well resolved I hate what I usually call wobbly uh, forms but it's basically like dirt forms not very well resolved shapes and forms and not well resolved in a, in a bad way right Let's go to the chat. All right. All right. So, hey, Glauco, in order to have a deep understanding of modeling, do you think it's worth learning to model with clay at the same time as learning to model digitally? I do think it's very important to model in clay. Uh, that being said, I. I think you'd need to approach that as a supplement, supplemental or supplementary rather than as your primary goal because uh, there's so much to learn on a computer. So I would spend maybe like 70%, 80% of my time sculpting in ZBrush if that's my goal and then doing some additional studies in clay. Unless you, you, you really don't care about uh, getting really good at the computer first and then you have you can afford spending um, some months and years just kind of studying traditional on an atelier on a really good uh, traditional environment i would definitely recommend that too but even if you're doing that i would still try to get connected with uh with the medium that you want to work with which is the digital so uh, it, it's the whole discussion about whoever is trying to learn how to paint in oils and then should you draw should you learn should you paint and then should i draw first can i still paint you know like so there, there's so much uh discussion on it that i think you should focus one as your primary and then do the other one as uh, as you wish without as much pressure Hope that helps but I definitely think it's important I spent like many years of my life just mainly working with clay uh, 
Thanks, guys. So, Bona is asking when are we gonna go back to the studio. So, there's the new Delta variant that hit us a couple weeks or months back. Um, yeah, man, like, most of the people I know, they're still working from home. I'm still working from home. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Can we have your ZBrush material? Well, this is just a, a basic material, and I just have uh, some colors, so you, you can totally have that. It's just a basic material. Thanks, appreciate it, Acacia. Do you know Vitaly Bulgarov? What do you think about his work and Steel's mentality that he talks? I well, I know Vitaly. He's amazing. Uh, I love his work. Been following his work since I actually started doing 3D. Uh, he's just amazing. So I never heard about the Steel's mentality, to be honest. Uh, I I've listened to a couple of the, his interviews and podcasts and whatnot. And uh, I really, really appreciate his discipline, and that's something that I that I always try to incorporate on, on my own personal development as well. Um, and his work is just mind blowing. I think he's probably one of the best designers out there. Uh, do you use Sculptris or do you prefer Dynamesh than Zero Mesh? I prefer Dynamesh than Zero Mesh. I think I rarely used uh, Sculptris. I barely used. I think I used once or twice. Um, what are the important elements of the primary shape? Proportions. I think proportions in uh, the design of those shapes, silhouette-wise, uh, negative space, and the whole composition of those shapes, uh, the gesture of those shapes, I would say. But I think number one would be proportions and whatever you're doing, proportions are key. Uh, even if they are stylized or whatever, so the, and the proportions, you can kind of break it down into thinking about the composition of the, of those shapes or the image of the model, um, which all boils down to organization and yeah, this is a very complicated uh, one to elaborate, honestly. But yeah, a little bit more work on the face. Uh, started to, to like what I'm seeing. Uh, that's cool. Feeling a little bit cleaner. Which is good. Still need to develop more. Uh, not really ready to commit to refine this. I want to let it sink for a little while. So in the meantime. Gonna probably work on something else.
tri triathlon training going. So it's going pretty well. I mean, this week I haven't really had time. I haven't had time to do some long days, but uh, the overall it's, it's going very well. The I have a half marathon, uh, just a run race uh, in three weeks from now. So it's gonna be my first half marathon, but uh, the, the big one that I'm training for is my first half Ironman in December, Indian Wells. Uh, if you guys are around, just uh, hit me up. It's gonna be in Indian Wells, which is uh, Salma, California. Uh, I think it's December 6th. So pretty stoked about the one first half Ironman. Uh, it's gonna be pretty challenging, but uh, I think I'll be ready to to do it. Uh, not sure if I'll be able to be very competitive as I was on my previous one, because uh, this is like way longer. I was able to get some speed and power, but for the long distances, I think that will take a while to transfer all of that. But regardless, it's gonna be awesome. Uh, I'm really, really super, super excited. You have any classical sculptors not alive? Yes, Bernini, Rodin. Carpo, those guys are, of course, Michelangelo. Uh, Gabriel, I know you will. I'm waiting for you, buddy. Just keep pushing. It will eventually happen, for sure. Do you know Andres Sanchez? <laughs> Actually, we went to school together. Uh, me and Andre, we go a long way. Uh, we know each other since we were maybe like 12 years old. We went to school together uh, and we talk all the time. Yeah, I've been following a uh, huge inspiration for me. Uh, actually, he's such a beast. But yeah, friend of mine, know him, his wife, everybody, we all studied together uh, in school. Our whole youth. Such a small world, huh? But yeah, I've been following the whole garage garage training thing. It's, it's just awesome. Uh, even before when he, he was on the CrossFit thing, I was also following him, cheering for him. Uh, yeah, really good friend.
feeling that the head was a little bit too big so I think it feels a little bit more organic now I'm kind of reducing shrinking it a little bit it for today guys got us some other stuff to do still tonight and it's getting pretty late here so thanks everybody who joined uh, that was fun uh, we made some really good progress and I guess I see you guys on the next one hey what's up Larry uh, I didn't have time to really elaborate on the philosophical questions too much or maybe I just uh, you know, dodge them. <laughs> Alright, thanks, thanks for tuning in, dude. Yeah, good seeing you, uh, Renato, and, and everybody. Uh, this was a very chill one. So, take it easy, guys. Till the next time. Later. Much love back to you all.